This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I've got my co-host back, Robbie Hull. How are you doing today? Really good today, Kathy. Excellent. How are you? I'm very good. I'm very good. We've been keeping you busy here at uh, FYI, haven't we? You're back uh, again this week. And who have you got this week? i got JJ. All right. Good morning, Coach. And thank you for joining me. My pleasure. Thanks for having me, Robbie. How has the season been going for the Weedos? Uh It's going not too bad. Uh, we're, uh, we're one game over 500 right now, so we're in the winning column. Um, but uh, we're, we're on the right track, and we're, uh, we're heading in the right direction, so we, and that's good. Where, uh, uh, where are you with the team last year? I was. So uh, I was an assistant coach with the team last year, and uh, this year uh, I've been uh, promoted up to a head coach. So we've been, uh, we've been going that route this year. Who is coaching alongside you? Uh, so this year we've got uh, Mike Savage. He's, uh, he's coaching the defense end this year and uh, helping me along on the bench. How many local players... Uh, on the team this year. This year we've got uh, we've got quite a few. There's like 18 local players, so it's nice uh, nice seeing the local players. They bring uh, lots of local fans to the rink, which is nice. How many games are left? And how how many of those are home? Home games. So we've got four games left in the season, and uh, we've got two of those games are home games. Um, the uh, out of the four, um, you know, we'd we'd like to to bring home at least three of those four and wins. But ideally, it would be nice to have all four. Is that number up or down from last year? Um, oh, for the local players, yeah. So I think we have uh, a few more local players this year than last year. Yeah, uh, definitely, uh, definitely a couple more for sure. What are the dates from the remaining home games? So the remaining home games, so we're away this weekend, but the following weekend, February 4th, uh, we're at home against the Bytown Royals. And um, I think it's the following weekend after that is February 12th. We've got Gananoque Islanders at home. What is the start time for those games? So the start time for those games are 7.30, 7 o'clock warm up. What is the cost to attend the games? Um, I think the price varies. Uh, I think it starts at $5 depending on age and it goes up to about $10, I believe. Thanks for joining as coach and good luck the rest of the season and into the playoffs. My pleasure. Thanks for having me, Robbie. Now, JJ, you're the, you're the head coach of the Smith Falls Rideau. So yes. You must have a history of hockey yourself, too. Maybe uh, you can tell me. I do. Um, so I played, uh, I played my younger years uh, with the Rideau St. Lawrence Kings uh, growing up and uh, then went on to playing Junior B in Athens. Uh, played there for, for, I think, seven years, six, seven years, so quite a long time. Um, <clears throat> and now uh, into coaching, and my kids play here in Smith Falls, and... Yeah, just uh, always, always at the rink. Uh, always yeah. at the rink. And I mean, to, to coach is such a commitment, too, you know. Absolutely. Uh, and, and you're traveling, too. And, yeah. and you, you got the older guys, too. Isn't we do, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, it's definitely a commitment. I love it. And, you know, it's, it's one of the things that uh, kind of keeps you young and yeah. at heart, right? It kind of keeps you going. So I, I love doing that. And it's lots of fun, and you get the younger crowd out there with the with the kids coming out and cheering, and it it, it makes it a lot of fun. 
Yeah. So yeah, it makes yeah. it worth it. Well, the fact that, you know, you used to be a player too. And I mean, now you're the mindset of a coach too. You, yeah. you must have hockey running in your blood. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's actually, it's funny. I find myself, uh, I, I'm a, definitely a better coach than I was a player. I, I feel that, oh, okay. uh, you know, it's easy to think the game, but sometimes it's hard to do it, right? So it's uh, it's nice to kind of see it in that perspective. And uh, I feel that uh, coaching's not an easy thing for sure, no. but uh, definitely easier to think it than to do it sometimes. And you can kind of tell, you know, when guys are on the ice and they get frustrated if they can't make plays and stuff. So, um, but definitely, it's definitely fun. I enjoy it. And uh, I enjoy having the guys around. It's lots of fun. And, and I mean, I, I love watching hockey, any kind of hockey. But you, you must see as a coach, too, some chemistry going on out there. It's like these players work well together. Absolutely. Play, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. It's nice, uh, it's nice having the local guys on the team because mm -hmm. a lot of guys, they, they mesh well with each other because they grew up playing with each other. That's right. And, of course, we've got the, the McKenney duo. Um, so, you know, being brothers, playing mini sticks growing up, I'm sure, sure the chemistry... Uh, just goes right from start to finish there, so it's kind of nice seeing that. And, uh, uh, I wonder if they've got that the the uh, the Kachuk brothers. The mother has told them they're not allowed to fight each other. I wonder yeah, if the yeah. McKenney brothers have oh, got that yeah. fight. They're not oh, allowed I'm to sure. fight each other. I'm sure it's been uh, <laughs> it's been noted. Yeah, yeah, really. I yeah. wait till we get home. Two, we yeah. two of them then at the bounds. Uh, not each other. <laughs> at the bottoms then. Oh, did my, they really? My mom, my mom was right above their mom. Yeah, and they. And they were fighting right. Oh my goodness! I wonder if it was something about <laughs> hockey for or that something game. was going on. Both of the bottoms were in the box. Oh, both funny. of them in the box. Oh my goodness! There's some memories. There's some memories. The mom, the mom, the mom said for the Bears game. The mom said, "Boys, stop that." <laughs> you need some moms on the coaching bench. That's don't right. You? Yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you very much, Robbie, for bringing JJ in with us and the JJ Roden, your, our head coach for the Smith Falls Ritos. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Good luck this year. Thanks. <laughs>